Dr Bishop came and saw us about five years ago um, in the business faculty and said that she had this new vision, this new plan. And then from that point we started really getting um, into the research and development about where is learning heading, what do we want to see particularly in terms of entrepreneurial characteristics and what sort of spaces will actually help develop that. Through looking at spaces like the QUT Cube, for instance, um, we took a lot of inspiration from their spaces and started to really design our space around that sort of um, look and feel and the way students were interacting with each other at a university level. We started looking at um, other schools, other university institutions. We even had a really good look at Google Office Spaces. Um, and different areas in which design had been moving forward in terms of the way in which people will work. And from there we looked at how we were going to initiate a lot of those aspects into this environment itself. My involvement in the building was primarily centred around the technology uh, integration of the building and also I guess the, the media spaces within the building. Um, a lot of research went into the media spaces by visiting um, TV stations, production companies, uh, universities and looking at their current environment and seeing what we can, I guess, tailor to, to the needs of students at Sheldon College. My first impression of the Link Building was uh, wow. I was dying to get into it when I first saw it. As soon as I look around it was clear that the, the facilities here are absolutely incredible. When I came over to the Link Precinct I was just absolutely astounded at the level of quality with the editing suites and just the integration of technology and I just got really excited about the possibilities for students. I was very impressed with the building. It's probably the most state-of-the-art building that I've actually seen or had anything to do with. And in, in some ways it's actually a little bit more intimidating. Every time I come through and I look at all the other areas I sit there and think, man, I really need to look at my game and make sure that I'm producing something that is at least the equivalent or better than what the building is and what it can provide the students. The new Link Centre at Sheldon College is absolutely phenomenal in the, the amount of resources and technology that it provides to children. I mean, we've got live streaming, we've got the laser cutters, the 3D printers, the media labs, basically everything that you would ever need to produce a business is in this centre. And I wish I could build a, a time machine and, and come back here and, and do my schooling all over again with these kind of resources. Uh, the building has uh, three main areas that uh, probably drive, I guess, the pedagogy within the building, um, business uh, into entrepreneurship, uh, media and production, and uh, the robotics and design technologies. Um, some of the great features that we've been able to put into the building have been around the seamless integration of technology where students can walk throughout the entire building, you know, design uh, a business plan, take that to the CAD environment and print out, you know, that, uh, that model, and then take it up to the media space and then being able to produce that to, to the market or to the world through, you know, a range of diff different digital communication technologies. Students can't wait to get in. You know, I found like if if if, if for some for some reason you change classes, um, they're disappointed that they're not in the link because they know the facilities here are great. So far, what we've been able to do is to get students moving uh, around the spaces and across different spaces and levels in the building. So in terms of the curriculum, what we're able to do now is, is basically bring the world into the, into the classroom. You know, the students can communicate with that world and we're able to now to, I guess, bring in alumni who are based all around the world and we can bring them into virtually into the classroom um, through a, a virtual robot where they can themselves engage with the students. We can discuss, um, I guess, what they're doing within their respective field and then bring that experience back into the classroom. What this is going to give, give students in terms of you know, a, ability to innovate and learn new things and have access to all kinds of different technology that a lot of other students don't unfortunately have access to is amazing and I hope a lot of other schools take up the opportunity to come to the centre and, and use the resources here because they're absolutely phenomenal. The students love coming over here. The atmosphere definitely is one of, of which allows them freedom to be creative and innovative, but it also develops that project-based learning um, pedagogical approach that we want to, to push forward in, in this particular space, but also within the building. Which means the cutting-edge pedagogy 
that gets students to develop and design and manufacture things that are far in excess of anything that's currently being produced in Queensland schools. It just uh, enables me and actually pushes me to, to push the boundaries as far as, as possible and then I guess just looking ahead towards the ways that we can continue to grow and innovate as, as this building really takes shape. As a college we need to be preparing students for their future careers and pathways into life in an increasingly digital and globally connected world.